In statistics, kernel density estimation is a non-parametric way to estimate the probability density function of a random variable. Kernel density estimation is a fundamental data smoothing problem where inferences about the population are made, based on a finite data sample. In some fields such as signal processing and econometrics it is also termed the Pazina euro rosenblatt window method, after Emanuel Patson and Murray Rosenblatt, who were usually credited with independently creating it in its current form. Definition let be an independent and identically distributed sample drawn from some distribution with an unknown density E. We are interested in estimating the shape of this function E. Its kernel density estimator is. Where k, a euro cent is the kernel a euro a symmetric but not necessarily positive function that integrates to 1 a euro, and h greater than 0 is a smoothing parameter called the bandwidth. A kernel with subscript h is called the scaled kernel and defined as kh, x, equals 1 per hour k, x h. Intuitively one wants to choose h as small as the data allow, however there is always a trade-off between the bias of the estimator and its variance. More on the choice of bandwidth below. A range of kernel functions are commonly used, uniform, triangular, b-weight, tree-weight, e nikov normal and others. The Epanichnikov kernel is optimal in a minimum variance sense, though the loss of efficiency is small for the kernels listed previously, and due to its convenient mathematical properties, the normal kernel is often used k, x, equals i, x, where i is the standard normal density function. The construction of a kernel density estimate finds interpretations in fields outside of density estimation. For example, in thermodynamics, this is equivalent to the amount of heat generated when heat kernels are placed at each data point location xi. Similar methods are used to construct discrete Laplace operators on point clouds for manifold learning. Kernel density estimates are closely related to histograms, but can be endowed with properties such as smoothness or continuity by using a suitable kernel. To see this, we compare the construction of histogram and kernel density estimators, using these six data points, x1 equals a 2.1, x2 equals a 1.3, x3 equals a 0.4, x4 equals 1.9, x5 equals 5.1, x6 equals 6.2. For the histogram, first the horizontal axis is divided into subintervals or bins which cover the range of the data. In this case, we have six bins each of width 2. Whenever a data point falls inside this interval, we place a box of height 1 slash 12. If more than one data point falls inside the same bin, we stack the boxes on top of each other. For the kernel density estimate, we place a normal kernel with variance 2.25 on each of the data points i. The kernels are summed to make the kernel density estimate. The smoothness of the kernel density estimate is evident compared to the discreteness of the histogram, as kernel density estimates converge faster to the true underlying density for continuous random variables. Bandwidth selection The bandwidth of the kernel is a free parameter which exhibits a strong influence on the resulting estimate. To illustrate its effect, we take a simulated random sample from the standard normal distribution. The gray curve is the true density. In comparison, the red curve is undersmooth since it contains too many spurious data artifacts arising from using a bandwidth h equals 0.05, which is too small. The green curve is oversmoothed since using the bandwidth h equals 2 obscures much of the underlying structure. The black curve with a bandwidth of h equals 0.337 is considered to be optimally smooth since its density estimate is close to the true density. The most common optimality criterion used to select this parameter is the expected L2 risk function, also termed the mean integrated squared error. Under weak assumptions on the NK, MISE equals AMISE, H, plus O, 1 slash, NH, plus H4, where O is the little O notation. The AMISE is the asymptotic MISE which consists of the two leading terms. Where for a function G, and E is the second derivative of E. The minimum of this AMISE is the solution to this differential equation. Or, 
neither the AMISE nor the HMIS formulas are able to be used directly since they involve the unknown density function E or its second derivative E, so a variety of automatic, data-based methods have been developed for selecting the bandwidth. Many review studies have been carried out to compare their efficacities, with the general consensus that the plug-in selectors and cross-validation selectors are the most useful over a wide range of data sets. Substituting any bandwidth H which is the same as entrotic order no one slash 5 as H amis into the AMISE gives that AMISE, H, equals O, now 4 slash 5, where O is the big O notation. It can be shown that, under weak assumptions, there cannot exist a non-parametric estimator that converges at a faster rate than the kernel estimator. Note that the NAR4-5 rate is slower than the typical NAR1 convergence rate of parametric methods. If the bandwidth is not held fixed, but is varied depending upon the location of either the estimate or the samples, this produces a particularly powerful method termed adaptive or variable bandwidth kernel density estimation. Practical estimation of the bandwidth if Gaussian basis functions are used to approximate univariate data, and the underlying density being estimated is Gaussian then it can be shown that the optimal choice for H is. Where is the standard deviation of the samples? This approximation is termed the normal distribution approximation, Gaussian approximation, or Silverman's rule of thumb. Relation to the characteristic function density estimator, given the sample, it is natural to estimate the characteristic function i, t, equals e, e i t x as. Knowing the characteristic function, it is possible to find the corresponding probability density function through the inverse Fourier transform formula. One difficulty with applying this inversion formula is that it leads to a diverging integral, since the estimate is unreliable for large tar euro unregistered trademark s. To circumvent this problem, the estimator is multiplied by a damping function i h t equals i h t, which is equal to 1 at the origin and then falls to 0 at infinity. The a euro o bandwidth parameter euro h controls how fast we try to dampen the function. In particular when h is small, then i h t will be approximately 1 for a large range of tar euro unregistered trademark s which means that remains practically unaltered in the most important region of tar euro unregistered trademark s. The most common choice for function i is either the uniform function i, t, equals 1 or 1 a per mil currency t a per mil 1 currency, which effectively means truncating the interval of integration in the inversion formula to a 1 per hour, 1 per hour, or the Gaussian function i, t, equals a i euro a euro t2. Once the function i has been chosen, the inversion formula may be applied, and the density estimator will be. Where k is the inverse Fourier transform of the damping function i. Thus the kernel density estimator coincides with the characteristic function density estimator. Statistical implementation, a non-exhaustive list of software implementations of kernel density estimators includes, in analytical release 4.4. The smoothing option for PDF results uses KDE, and from expressions it is available via the built-in PDF function. In CC++, FigTree is a library that can be used to compute kernel density estimates using normal kernels. MATLAB interface available. In C++, LIBAGF is a library for variable kernel density estimation. In CrimeStat, Kernel density estimation is implemented using five different kernel functions a euro normal, uniform, quartic, negative exponential, and triangular. Both single and dual kernel density estimate routines are available. Kernel density estimation is also used in interpolating a headbang routine, in estimating a two-dimensional journey to crime density function, and in estimating a three-dimensional Bayesian journey to crime estimate. In ELKI, kernel density functions can be found in the package to LMUI for DBS LK math statistics kernel functions. In ESRI products, kernel density mapping is managed out of the spatial analyst toolbox and uses the Epanaknikov kernel. In Excel, the Royal Society of Chemistry has created an add-in to run kernel density estimation based on their analytical methods committee technical brief for. In Gnuplet, 
kernel density estimation is implemented by the smooth density option, the data file can contain a weight and bandwidth for each point, or the bandwidth can be set automatically according to Silverman's rule of thumb. In Haskell, kernel density is implemented in the statistics package. In Java, the WECAR package provides WECAR estimators, kernel estimator, among others. In JavaScript, the visualization package D3JS offers a KDE package in its science stats package. In JMP, the FITY by X platform can be used to estimate univariate and bivariate kernel densities. In MATLAB, kernel density estimation is implemented through the XDensity function. This function does not provide an automatic data-driven bandwidth but uses a rule of thumb, which is optimal only when the target density is normal. A free MATLAB software package which implements an automatic bandwidth selection method is available from the MATLAB central file exchange for one-dimensional data and for two-dimensional data. In Mathematica, numeric kernel density estimation is implemented by the function smooth kernel distribution here and symbolic estimation is implemented using the function kernel mixture distributed on here both of which provide data-driven bandwidths. In Minitib, the Royal Society of Chemistry has created a macro to run kernel density estimation based on their analytical methods committee technical brief for. In the NAG library, kernel density estimation is implemented via the G10 bar routine. In Octave, kernel density estimation is implemented by the kernel density option. In Perl, an implementation can be found in the statistics kernel estimation module. In Python, Many implementations exist, SciPy, Stats Models, and Scikit-Learn. In R, it is implemented through the density in the BKDE function in the Kern Smooth library, the KDE function in the KS library, the DKDEN and DBCKDEN functions in the EVMIX library, the Impudence function in the NP library, the SM density function in the SM library. For an implementation of the KDE, our function, which does not require installing any packages or libraries, CKDE. R. In SAS, PROC KDE can be used to estimate univariate and bivariate kernel densities. In Starter, it is implemented through GDensity. density. For example, histogram X, GDensity. density. Alternatively, a free starter module KDENS is available from here, allowing a user to estimate 1D or 2D density functions. Examples, example in MATLAB Octave. For this example, the data are a synthetic sample of 50 points drawn from the standard normal and 50 points from a normal distribution with mean 3.5 and variance 1. The automatic bandwidth selection in density estimation with normal kernels is carried out by KDEM. This function implements an automatic bandwidth selector that does not rely on the commonly used Gaussian plug-in rule of thumb heuristic. Example in R. This example is based on the old faithful Giza, a tourist attraction located in Yellowstone National Park. This famous data set containing 272 records consists of two variables, eruption duration, and waiting time until next eruption, both in minutes, included in the base distribution of R. We analyze the waiting times, using the KS library since it has a wide range of visualization options. The bandwidth function is HPI which in turn calls the DPIK function in the kern smooth library. These functions implement the plugin selector. The kernel density estimate using the normal kernel is computed using KDE which calls BKDE from kern smooth. The plot function allows the addition of the data points as a rug plot on the horizontal axis. The bimodal structure in the density estimate of the waiting times is clearly seen in contrast to the rug plot where this structure is not apparent. Example in Python To demonstrate how kernel density estimation is performed in Python, we simulate some data from a mixture of normals, where 50 observations are generated from a normal distribution with mean 0 and standard deviation 3 and another 50 from a normal with mean 4 and standard deviation 1. The Gaussian KDE function from the SciPy package implements a kernel density estimate using Gaussian kernels, and includes automatic determination of bandwidth. By default, Gaussian KDE uses Scott's rule to select the appropriate bandwidth. 
the plot shows both a histogram of the simulated data, along with a red line that shows the Gaussian KDE. See also, kernel, kernel smoothing, kernel regression, density estimation, mean shift, scale space the triplets X, H, KDE with brand width H evaluated at X, all X, H greater than zero form a scale space representation of the data. Multivariate kernel density estimation, variable kernel density estimation, references. External links, introduction to kernel density estimation a short tutorial which motivates kernel density estimators as an improvement over histograms. Kernel bandwidth optimization a free online tool that instantly generates an optimized kernel density estimate of your data. Free online software computes the kernel density estimation for any data series according to the following kernels, Gaussian, e Epanachnikov, Rectangular, Triangular, Beweight, Cosine, and Opt-Cosine. Kernel Density Estimation Applet An online interactive example of kernel density estimation. Requires .NET 3.0 or later.